Hey guys, welcome to another video. I don't know if you guys feel this way at all, but usually around evening time, my energy just... <clears throat> my mind is just mush. I, I can't really do anything. So yeah, I felt that today. So to counter that, I ended up making coffee. But now that I'm kind of free from this midday lull and I kind of have my energy back, I thought, why not work on some more art? I got a lot of commissions and projects in the works. Let's get on to the first thing that we're going to be doing tonight, which is working on an album cover. So let's get started. So this is an album cover commission I've been working on for an artist named KDK. When I do album covers like this one, I usually make the cover by listening to the music and drawing what comes to mind. Usually the artist requests something simple like a character placement or a simple composition they want me to work off of, then leave the rest up to me as I do my best work when given creative freedom. Years ago, I used to do normal commissions where I basically had no creative freedom and I absolutely hated doing those. It sucked any enjoyment I got out of making art, so being able to have opportunities now where people are asking for my creativity and not just relying on me to recreate an image makes me feel really thankful for everyone who has supported and got me to this point where I could utilize my strengths and continue to do what I love to do. But anyways, after I worked on this album cover for a little while while hanging out on some Twitter spaces, I ended up going to bed and I forgot to record more clips. Uh, so yeah, anyways, on to the next day. Cody, Cody, wake up! So it is the next day and um shit what are we gonna do here i'm gonna eat breakfast take a shower then after that i gotta work on some scripts for some more youtube videos do some digital artwork and i'm gonna also um i don't know we got like 100 art projects that are like in the works right now so i could just choose any one of them uh let's do this and we're back and we're outside it's raining it's a gloomy day it's cold i think it's kind of healthy to go outside and maybe get some fresh air, you know? I thought, why not do something before I lock myself in for the rest of the day? <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Do you have the fresh air? Here we are. Come for tea. Today I woke up around noon feeling a little out of it. One thing that I'm trying to work on is my sleep schedule. I stay up really late most nights and then wake up close to noon. Ideally I would love to wake up as the sun is rising and get a good start to my day instead of waking up and feeling like I'm already lagging behind. I've wanted to establish a good morning routine in order to train myself to have a better mentality when I get to work, but it's just so hard to not stay up all night. My best work gets done really late at night and sometimes I just can't ignore the strong energy and desire I have to create at 2 in the morning. Like why waste this golden opportunity where it feels my mind is at its peak and my focus and motivation is dialed in to create? I'm always struggling with this issue of getting my mind in the right space to create to the best of my ability. One of my goals for this month is to train myself to not be so nitpicky and distracted. I get too caught up just trying to find the right video to play in the background as I work or when I'm drawing I get too caught up trying to think of the perfect thing to implement in the illustration that I'm working on. I think I just need to learn to just acknowledge what I'm trying to get done here and just do it instead of attaching all this extra shit I need just to feel more comfortable. I need to learn how to make myself comfortable with every situation instead of just trying to make everything around me different just to fit a certain vibe that my head could be comfortable with. So yeah, I started today by writing the script to this video. Actually, everything you've heard up to this point is what I was writing. Then afterwards, I got started on some YouTube thumbnails. The videos are probably already out by now. Uh, then I worked a bit on the mug design and this pretty cool Egyptian piece that I'm doing for an NFT. I'm really excited to do YouTube more. There are so many unfinished projects that I have, which means that there are so many more videos to be made. I'm even considering starting a YouTube series where I just finish unfinished projects. I have some dating all the way back to like 2016 that I still want to finish, which would be pretty awesome to finish six years later. I also want to start implementing more goofy skits, kind of like the one at the end of my sketchbook tour video. It's actually crazy to think of how long some ideas and art pieces can take to finish. A week ago, I finished a drawing that I initially started eight months prior. Right now, I have this painting idea that I've wanted to do since the summer of 2020, and now almost two years have passed. However, I'm in no rush, as some projects and ideas just get better with time. Uh, all right. Sometimes I get a little bit tired of like what I've been doing. My mind is it just wants to go somewhere else. So when that happens, you know, I still want to create obviously, but my mind's like giving me this like 
warning, 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 like, I don't know, like I need to switch and do something else. So when that happens, I usually just go to the piano, kind of play out what I'm feeling, and then usually it kind of helps me reset. Ah, now, before the video starts, I just want to give a little bit of context about what I'm playing here. So basically, I'm just improvising on the piano, I guess to have some correlation for visual artists. For me, this is the equivalent of automatic drawing. This is the equivalent of me taking out a piece of paper and a pencil and just drawing whatever comes to mind without like any worry in the world of what it's going to look like at the end. This is merely just like a creative exercise and a practice to kind of get my mind flowing in a different way. I'll get a little bit more into the details after the piano segment here, um, but yeah. consider the piano to be my one other major passion outside of art, and I believe playing it helps me form new patterns and ideas that I can carry over into my art in an abstract sense. There are lots of feelings and visuals that play through my mind when I play the piano. It kind of helps me manifest future art and music pieces as well. For the rest of the night, I worked on the album for KDK and then went to bed. And welcome back, y'all. This is the third and final day of this vlog. We're just going to continue to work on some videos, finishing up some pieces. So yeah, enjoy. Today we started by finishing the rough draft to the KDK album, then worked on an Asian themed tattoo commission, then finished the day off by working on the Egyptian piece. In between all of this I realized I had to make a TikTok, so I took out a 5x7 inch sheet of paper and grabbed literally all of the art supplies I had on my desk at the time and made a piece. Looking back over what I've done over the last few days, I feel pretty good about it, but I know I could do better. It's a good place to be in, and moving forward I will readjust and get myself in a better position for next time. I can always be more efficient and have better quality content and art, and overall just be a better person, and hopefully my future videos will reflect this. This vlog is a little different from the usual video style I do in this channel. It was a little more informal and I leaned into documenting a bit more of my life instead of just the art. I'd love to know what you guys think of this format and if I should continue to do videos like this one. As I was editing this video, I realized how much better my future vlogs can be and how many more things I can implement moving forward. Anyways, thank you all for watching and feel free to support me by checking out the link in my description which has all my socials, my original artwork site, and synthetic which is the prints and apparel shop. Anyways. If you're not staying healthy, I'm gonna find you, and I will eat you.